Thank you, Mr. President. The, uh, this is pursuant to the Joint Committee on Administrative Rules taking this action on May 25th, 2023. Uh, this was a proposed rule by DESE to 5 CSR 20-100.230 to implement House Bill 1552 provisions therein on full-time virtual schooling from 2022. Uh, we conducted the hearing, took testimony, looked at the public testimony that was submitted uh, pursuant to section 536.0285 on May 25th, 2023. Committee found several issues with the proposed rule language. There were fiscal notes in the proposed rule change that were flawed in the committee's opinion, contrary to addendums provided to the committee. Uh, the fiscal notes said that it would be a cost of less than 500 in the aggregate. Also, there were flaws with the funding arrangement produced. Uh, it, it produced glaring conflicts with the language of House Bill 1552. The intent of 1552 uh, by modifying and specifically changing what a full-time equivalent student was from one that was, uh, the, the old language was one that completed the course to one that is currently enrolled in an instructional equivalent of up to six credits per term. The uh, intent was to implement full-time enrollment into a new process which shifted accountability to the host district and removed language that the payment of full-time virtual uh, shall not exceed the state adequacy targets. The legislature provided that full-time virtual no longer needs to invoice resident districts monthly on a pro rata basis, but would receive full funding based on uh, attendance rather than completion. Nothing by the legislature signaled that the department should be paid upon completion uh, the third flaw that we found, uh, Mr. President, was there was a conflict with FERPA, conflict with federal law as the, uh, the providing of sensitive identifying information of students to third parties without legitimate school interest provides some, uh, some pause to all of the parties that were involved. So for that reason, I would take any questions.